electrical resistance. You can put resistors in, if you have multiple resistors, in series or in parallel, and they, they act as one different kind of resistor. Let's do series first. Here's my battery. Put a switch in. Here's my resistor. But I'm going to have more than one. I'm going to have another resistor and another resistor. Now notice there's only one path. As the electrons move, as I close this switch and the electrons move counterclockwise, they're going to encounter all three resistors. It's a big gauntlet. It's like in fluid resistance, it's like making your tube longer, increases fluid resistance. It's like in electrical resistance on the microscopic level, it's like making the length of the wire longer, increases the resistance. I've got these resistors in series. And so they increase the resistance. Call this R1, R2, R3, although I can have any number if I want. There's the voltage. And here's the deal for resistors in series. The resistances add. So the total resistance, R total, is equal to R1 plus R2 plus R3. And resistance is anything that takes energy out of the electron flow. Quite often it just becomes heat. Sometimes it can power a motor or something else. So let's do an example of this. Let's say the first resistor is 10 ohms, the second resistor is 20 ohms, and the third resistor is 30 ohms. Let's say the voltage is 6 volts. So first off, what's the total resistance? I'll call it r tote. And I'll learn how to use an eraser eventually. r tote. Well, the total resistance is the sum of each of these, because the electrons all have to move through all of them, and it affects the flow. So it's R1 plus R2 plus R3. So there's my working equation. Now I just plug it in. 10 ohms plus 20 ohms plus 30 ohms is 60 ohms. So it's the same, these three individuals in series, it's the same resistance as if I had one 60 ohm resistor right there. All right. Now B, what's the current through the system? There's only one path, so the current's the same all the time. It's not like it slows down when it gets here and speeds up and slows down. It's all moving at the same rate as soon as you turn on the system. So what's the current? The current is, well, let's see, we got resistance is voltage over current, Ohm's law. Now, I want to solve for current, so I'll have to multiply both sides by current. I need to get current on top and then by itself. I'll multiply both sides by the current to get it on top, and I'll get IR equals delta V. And now, I'll divide the resistance out from both sides. As long as I do the same thing to both sides, it'll still be true. And I get the current is voltage over the resistance. Now this is the total resistance. So I'm going to say I've got six, 6 volts divided by 60 ohms of total resistance. I've got 0 0.10 amps. That's my current. Now. What about the voltage drop across each resistor? If you know this. But I, I have a voltage drop across each of these. They take out energy, each one of them. The smallest resistor, the 10, it's going to take the least energy out. Smallest voltage drop, probably. The biggest one will take the most energy out. So let's do a C and calculate delta V1, delta V2, and delta V3. So delta V1. The voltage drop across the first resistor. This is just another form of Ohm's law. What I did was I solved, let's see, right here, resistance. I solved it for voltage. So I multiplied both sides by current. 
and I get voltage is current times resistance. And this would be the resistance of the first resistor. And so that's uh, 0.10 amps times 10 ohms, which is uh, 1 volt. So I got 1 volt drop across here, that first resistor. Across the second one, current times second resistance, I have 0 0.10 amps, same current through all of them, times 20 ohms gives me 2 volts. And the third one, delta V3, the third voltage is current times the resistance of the third, which is 0 0.10 amps, times 30 ohms, which is going to give me 3 volts. Now check it out. You're going to drop 6 volts no matter what you do. The current adjusts that way. I've got 1 volt plus 2 volts is 3 volts plus 3 volts. I have 6 volt drop across there. If I had no resistance, then the current would pick up. Well, I mean, it'd just be the resistance in the wire. And the current would move so fast, it would drop that 6 volts, but it would probably melt the wire. So that's electrical resistance for resistors in series. And for resistors in series, you use Ohm's law and you remember that the total resistance is the sum of the individual. And now we should talk about resistors in parallel.